this might be one of my most exciting releases to come out. It is the Four Gate Kelvin Collection, which I'm always happy to drink yours. Yep, because he ain't going to buy it until he drinks mine. That's definitely true. <laughs>
and then you somehow turn that into like gummy bears mm. or Ooh. like gummies, like Challenge for snack time. Accepted. And <laughs> like you just <laughs> had like the the, the yeah. rich like artificial fruit flavor of yeah. a gummy plus like the dark rum, whatever. Yeah. That's what it. Yeah. On the nose, that's what it smells. It like. smells really good. I can't wait to try this. And you, you haven't tried this. No, right? I just, I've just poured out some samples. You know, I, I always like to do that. I always like to try to pour a couple samples out for some friends, and uh, and then I always let it kind of air out. And then occasionally, you know, I'll get into a little bit. But I'm, I try to do my best to where we have like a uh, a true like blind together. experience. Yeah. yeah, which I appreciate. Sometimes I don't care and I just get into yeah. it. Yeah, no. Sometimes you're excited. <laughs> it's all about free time. Yeah, sometimes or, you're excited too. Yeah. Like you get you get excited about something. You're just like I can't wait there's also a ton of brown like brown sugar it pops on that yeah i was gonna say that there's like right at the end of the nose you you get this wh whiff of brown sugar i was gonna, it, it's almost like an old forester round sugar note to me yeah i can see i get off that yeah, yeah i could see that all right i can't wait for this this is anticipation at the highest Ooh. Oaky, mmm, maple. Ooh, I like it. I still think that that rum and that maple kind of candy bar note is still there. Yeah. Mm. Man, it's really good. That is different, and and I mean like different, like in a great way. That's really good. Yeah. I think I like just off one tip alone. I think I like this one more than. Kelvin five yeah. last year. Four was just four was another league. That's that's a stupid special whiskey. That yeah, it is is incredible. Um, but if you don't believe that there's something to the Kelvin barrels, I'll you've not tried for, enough Kelvin yeah, barrels no to know like whatever they're doing. It's they just make. In my opinion, they make yeah. glass barrels. I know some people would argue whatever, but I think Kelvin does. Man. So that there's like some some spice onto that that kind of lingers from the palate to the finish, coats really well. The sweetness is there from front to back. Like yeah. I, I I like that. And then that oak kind of overtakes the back end of the palate and into the finish. You get this real oaky oaky uh, <clears throat> flavor right in the back of your palate and into the finish. Man, that is so good. It's good. What is one fifteen proof? Yeah, that's. Again, that's oh, our. It, that's it, our, has, that's, that's it our doesn't proof. even drink like a one fifteen percent. No, no, not at all. I drink so easy. Man, that is good. It's just, it's like you're in the Caribbean drinking bourbon. Like that's just, it, it's just how it is. It's just awesome. I, I, listen, this this hits all the good spots. Yeah, it, I, I think it hits everything good that you want. There's Again, a really, there's a really great black cherry note on there. There is, there is. I think it's fruity, the dark fruits, the sweetness, the oakiness on the end of it. The finish is good. It it kind of coats right there and mm -hmm. just kind of stays right right in the the top of your throat. Like all things that are really really enjoyable. Um, I, I, again, this price point is not for everybody, but if this is in your price point and you're looking to go, this month I'm gonna spend $200 on bourbon, and you go, I could spend $200 on four bourbons, or I could spend yeah. $400, I mean $200 on one bourbon. This is one of the months where I would go, if you can find this, get it. Yeah. And just just know that this is gonna be a, sh a short bourbon month for you. And you'll be okay. Like as long as you feel like you know it and you can experience it in a good way, I, I would I would say get it. On a side note, we keep talking about like the fruitiness of their this kind. It it's not quite like a desserty kind of bourbon. It drinks like it would be a dessert kind of bourbon, but it's too dark and complex for that. I think you're right. So, but it has some really good characteristics. This but, would be good with a cigar. Uh, probably yeah probably really really good with a cigar look overall this is great uh again I, I agree with dave i would rather buy one of these and then take it easy on like if you're worried about the pricing of it which i totally understand yeah and get, i totally get it um i would rather have one of these and open it up during a special time or if i'm gonna have something to sip on like this is something this is really good or th if th you're, this is just really yeah good. or if you're figuring out like you've been 
buying bourbons in that mid-tier bourbon world, blah, 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 and you're trying to figure out, is this price point worth it? I think you should, in some ways, at some point in your bourbon journey, spring the money for something that would consider itself a premium bourbon so that you can kind of tell the difference. I, to me, yeah. it's important to kind of tell the difference between, like we did a review of Jim Beam Black, age seven years. <laughs> it's $25. It is what it is. And I, don't I, don't know, a, I don't know where he's going with this. I know that's a huge jump, but what I'm saying is like you, we find ourselves in this comfort zone of going, okay, I can spend 25 to $75 and feel you know, I feel okay about it. Yeah. This is taking that to another level and going, this is $200, but is it is it worth it? And I think at some point you're going to, in your bourbon journey, you're going to have to spring t to decide whether something like that is worth it or not. You have, at some point in time, you start having that conversation. Is it about quantity or quality? Yeah. And in my opinion, you can go out and get a lot of great bottles cheap every day. And but, we'll it's all, but it's all about quality, yeah. in my opinion. And, and we'll probably have people on this and, that will say, I'm never paying over $70 for a, a bottle of bourbon. And that's fine. You don't have yeah. to. But there are people who are searching, like, is this worth spending the extra money on? Especially for a, uh, like a special occasion or to commemorate something. And I have a tendency, tendency with, especially with the Four Gate, the Kelvin collaboration, to say yes, this is worth splurging and having this as a special occasion bourbon for yourself. Yeah, it's awesome. I'd recommend it. What we that. would call a small circle, or Bourbon Kingdom would call some, I mean, uh, Bourbon Junkies would call a small circle. Yeah, fair. Yeah. All right. Anyways, let us know in the comments below if you guys have tried this or if you guys have had any Four Gates, Coven Collection, whatever, and what your all thoughts are. Mm. And uh, it has a little tobacco, right? Uh, I went back to it. Has a little I feel tobacco like if David just drinks something long enough, it always has tobacco. It does. Probably true. <laughs> Probably true. That is my go-to. All right. Anyways, until next time. We'll see you. We'll see you.